What is up, everybody? Welcome back to another edition of Big Al's Barber Vlogs. Let's get into this. Good morning, everybody, and welcome back, guys. Today is uh, Thursday, my Monday, but Thursday, first day of the week, guys. Uh, working all five days this week. Got nothing really scheduled but work. So uh, I hope you guys saw that last vlog that I did, guys, with uh, my son David. I thought it was a really good interview. Uh, kind of just casual, cutting his hair and just talking to him and and letting him know. Uh, explaining to us what happened to him during his test where he didn't pass the state board uh, he got a 70 he missed it by five so um, doesn't matter doesn't matter guys no no uh, uh, ill intentions there uh, he did his best he just didn't pass it all uh, the good thing about that test is that you could take it as many times as you want you just gotta pass it and once you pass it once, that's it. You don't ever have to pass it again. So it's one of those things that you just got to get through. Once you get through it, then you should be fine. But um, I'm picking up my nephew right now that I'm headed to work. I'm going to get started on this day, and we'll see what this day brings us. I'm going to try to record some haircuts for you today, guys. I got other things planned, so we'll see what we can get into, all right? Let's do this. Yesterday, I went and bought stuff from my... From my toy box collection over here guys you know the toys i gave away to the kids we've been running real super low lately so i made sure when i went down to la got me some more stuff but you know before i used to have it in the display right here and the kids go all crazy now it's kind of undercover i just throw them in the back more secretly Have them in my boxes down there on the bottom. I'm gonna show you guys real quick. I'm gonna show you guys how I keep them down here. See, I have two boxes down there. See how they have toys in here? This is the last few of them that I had right now. But today I bought a lot of stuff, so I'm gonna be able to really fill it up. Guys, that stuff right there cost me 100 bucks. I'm not gonna lie. It was 120 bucks for all that stuff. But but it's an investment guys to me it's like buying lollipops you know buy lollipops lollipops have always been a standard of barbershop always get a haircut you get a treat if you're a kid that's one way of winning them over that works every single time i'm not gonna lie to you guys works like a charm so what i do is when the kids come in, they get a haircut, I'll always tell them, hey, you sit still, you're gonna get a nice treat. You're gonna get a treat from me. I got toys in the back back there. Sometimes I have to show them the box to tell, show them I'm not lying. Once they see all these goodies, usually the kids settle down. I'm not even gonna lie, it's like magic. See, this box right here was eight bucks. And what I do is just throw them all in there. And then I let the kids sort through them. The kids just pick through what they want. I let them have one toy each. All of this will last me a few months. I probably won't have to go back till December. So yeah, it's a hundred bucks that you spend. But trust me guys, it just helps out on the long run when you're doing a difficult kid. You know, the difficult kids, they don't want to sit there. They don't want to let you do all what they what you need to do. They're, they're trying to, uh, they just want to uh, uh, get out of the chair, you know, a lot of times. But if you can win them over, trust me, guys. That's the key to doing an easy haircut. That's the key to doing a fast haircut is that, you know, you jam through it. You get through it and you get it done. You know, like most, I'm not even going to lie. Most of my little kid haircuts are 10, 15 minutes tops, guys. 
The reason being, I've trained myself to cut them that fast. Why? Because if I cut them that fast, and put you down here. If I cut them that fast, I get done faster. It stresses the kid out le le uh, 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 less. And the parents love the fact that they're not sitting in the chair for an hour. Trust me, guys. No kid wants a scissor cut. No kid. No kid. If a parent comes in asking for a scissor cut, I talk them out of it. I'll tell them straight out. It's not going to look that good. It's not. And if you're going to try to cut the size of scissors, it's going to wind up looking like a little bowl haircut. See these? these. This is a six bucks for this one right here. These are just little balls that the kids pick out. They light up. Easy. Easy, guys. It's a good, good trick to keeping kids happy. And then I even buy these ones right here. These ones I'll give away occasionally when the kids are extra good. You know what little poppers are. When we were kids, we used to throw the little poppers and they would pop. These are awesome, guys. Six bucks for this box right here. It has about 50 boxes inside it. You give them the little treats like that, man. I'm telling you guys. The kids will love coming to your barbershop. Trust me when I tell you that. I'm going to set all this stuff up. Once I set it up, I'll show you guys how much stuff it was. I probably bought too much stuff yesterday, guys. See, I already filled up my two boxes right here. And I still have all of these over here. What I'll do is I'll put these away in my in my in my storage back here, and as I start falling, uh, uh, we start needing more stuff. Then I'll just start filling the boxes up. And trust me, guys, this is a, this is how you win clients over. This is a main. Uh, it's tell me all the time, like, oh, my kids love coming to your shop just because you always give away a free gift. And I'm like, hey, you know, if that's good, they're gonna remember me by. That's what they're going to remember me by. It's a funny story too, guys. My grandfather. Now, I don't know if he did this for me because I was his grandson. But when my grandfather owned his barbershop, I remember going over there as a little kid to get haircuts. And I remember every time, felt like every time I went over there, my grandpa had something for me. It was like, it was a special, something special. I always remember that. I mean, I still remember that to this day. It's a great memory in my, in my, in my mind. And if I can implant that into little kids now, if we can plant that into a little kid now, that kid will be your client forever, guys. Trust me when I tell you that I've seen it already in my 20 years of cutting hair. Some kids have grown up to be adults and they're already starting to bring their kids to me. So, you know, I'm no lies. This is all straight, straight up facts, guys. But I'm going to get myself a cup of coffee, turn on the TVs and set the rest, rest of everything up, guys, and we'll get started on this day. Been a pretty quiet day, guys. Pretty quiet day. I only done five cuts. Biz has done four cuts. Raul's done three cuts right now. He's on his fourth one. But you know, it's only one o'clock right now, so it's not like it's already late. We still have four more hours to go. Plus, the back side of my appointments is pretty damn full. So I'm looking forward to those haircuts. I have probably about five or six more cuts. So by the end of the day, I should have at least ten, I figure. If you do 10 in a day, especially on a Thursday, guys, you're doing good. You're not doing bad at all. It's relatively hot here in the Southern California. It's 84 degrees. Um, this weekend, this Saturday, uh, we're having a birthday party for my grandkid. So um, this Saturday, we'll having, be having a, a party at my mom's house. Uh, my grandkid's turning two years old today. Actually, his birthday was last weekend, but we're doing the party this weekend, so... We're doing a little car steam party. Uh, 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 it should be fun. Should be a lot of fun, guys. Um, but as far as today goes, so far it's been, you know, it's been all right. It's been relatively busy. Like I said, it hasn't been too dead. But at the same time, you know, we haven't been crazy busy either. So as long as you get 10 in by the end of the day, I figure you're doing okay, guys. So see what happens at the end of the day. Back into the appointments was super busy, guys. Super busy. I'm not even lying. I probably done like seven haircuts since the last time I talked to you guys. But right now I'm sitting at 12. I got one more plus a free one. My brother's showing up to get a haircut. So, but if I don't close this vlog out, guys, it's been a great day today. Hope you guys are grinding. If not, I'll close it out after. Usually when my brother shows up, we end up drinking. There's no time to close out the vlog. So if I don't, you guys have a blessed day, and I'll see you guys mañana. All right, fellas, I ended up leaving. Barbershop's closed, I already told you. My brother ended up occupying my time right there. He's right behind me right now. But uh, it ended up being a really good day, guys. I ended up doing 13 cuts. Uh, Raul, do it. Raul, 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 do. Raul ended up doing about six cuts. So it ended up being a good day for everybody overall. Biz, Biz was busy all day, so 
Um, you know, not bad for a Thursday. Tomorrow's Friday. Tomorrow the whole crew's there, and we'll see what happens tomorrow, guys. With that being said, you guys have a blessed night, and I'll see you guys on the next video. Run.